is up everyone and welcome back to the animus today we're going to be doing the unboxing and review of gallery studios new premium series mobius airbrush let's get right to it for so this right here is going to be the new premium series for dual action airbrushes for from gallery now with that being said, uh, the gallery team did reach out to me in regards to this product. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and do a proper review and unboxing of it. So you guys know how I am with all these reviews. I promise to be honest at all times. And we're definitely gonna put this one through the ringer to see if, it, if it's up to par with the other products that they have on the lineup, right? Because so now right off the bat, you can see that the box is, uh, it's even wrapped differently than the other gallery airbrush boxes. Now, this line is supposed to, it's made to be like enhanced. Now, by any means, if you're trying to get, uh, if you're trying to get an airbrush, uh, one of these, don't be intimidated by whether or not it's a premium product or whether it's not. Look, anybody and at any level can use these products. So, uh, right off the bat, we can always say that gallery, the gallery team always goes above and beyond when it comes to the, the presentation of their boxes, right? So, uh, as you can see here, it does have the features of the airbrush itself in the back. Now, this has the uh, Tangent Micro air, air Channel Nozzle. This one is a 0.3. Now, I am told that this one has increased, uh, it has a lot of uh, increased atomization for... Um, for the airbrush itself to get that actual you know spread of paint however you want it right now i did notice i did speak with someone before where they were talking about uh maybe having like dry tip issues with their airbrush uh, i think that just depends on what type of paint you're using and what um what psi you're spraying on right now so let's go ahead and unbox it real quick all right so right off the bat again you see that all gallery all gallery products do include the airbrush teardown for that right and I, I really do enjoy that they always include these in their um in their products so that way if you're ever doing some maintenance or anything like that then you won't have any issues right so you do have a little card here with all the social medias and everything uh for gallery you'll have the quick start guide now this is what i was always saying before um you guys always ask me somebody asked me the other day like what what was because i mentioned that hey you know you always get the different ones so see how in the images they always change the images to the airbrush that's presented and you know that you bought so that's always pretty cool All looking right. at the airbrush itself if you look at it right off the bat it looks really super nice and I am really liking the amount of detail that's on this. Now, uh, some people might not be interested in aesthetics because, you know, aesthetics don't really matter when you're painting. But if an airbrush looks aesthetically pleasing and it works, I mean, don't you just, you call it a win-win at that point, right? So um, you do get the O-rings, extra O-rings there. I saw that they included the lubrication as well. You get one of these with each one of their products. Now, some people might not know this some products don't actually bring any type of lubrication for your tool uh gallery always includes one with each one and i can say as, as someone that has most of their products already i can say that each and every one of their products included uh the little lubrication uh the gallery lube there so you get the cap for your nozzle which i'm going to take off right now now some of the biggest selling points in this uh airbrush is that it's lightweight right so we're gonna go ahead and put the tank on for those of you that are wondering this is a third of an ounce tank that is included with this airbrush let's go ahead and get it in there it's got you know these it's so precise you got to make sure you get the right angle and as the lid stuck oh no so this one came off right away uh now i know that uh with other airbrushes i've said you know gallery airbrushes i've said that you know you have to like grab it and like pull it well that wasn't the case with this one it, can, it just slides in slides out it's comfortably in it's secure in there as well test it with a shake right that's this that's the that's the real test to see if it falls out but it didn't fall out all right it's good to go um just looking at the the build structure of this one I can compare with like the some other airbrushes like for example i did the comparison with a 39 with this airbrush right here this is compared to this the weight on this this is a lot lighter even though it looks a lot more complex and it looks like it has a lot more parts right so um i love the square design 
to get that ergonomic, you know, feel to it. You get a little bit more grip too, instead of that round housing there. I love the fact that they did the square housing for the trigger itself. This lever is super smooth. Super smooth. Yeah, this, this lever is super smooth to me, to me at least, you know. Uh, love the fact that they got the increased airflow, all the vents for the lightweight. I, I know that most of these aesthetics just play into having the lightweight. I love the fact that it has an adjuster here, and you also have the little knob in the back. This is great. Like, I, I can't wait to use this one. I'm gonna We're going to be using it right now to test it out, like I mentioned to you guys before. I am a big sucker for, for products that work out of the box and we want to make sure that this one does the same thing right so uh we did the barbatos review not, not too long ago and that one worked straight out of the box and i'm currently using it in my current build uh so stay tuned for that but we will be using this right now to make sure that it goes well and then we'll go ahead and tear it completely down so we can go ahead or mostly down so we can take a look at the interiors and see how everything looks right so uh, i know that gallery was releasing this product as a premium product the biggest takeaway from this is it's got the the increased uh airflow and with the with the mac nozzle so let's go ahead and take the tip off right here oh we gently place that here so i don't bend the needle out place that there and here you go so for those of you that are not familiar with what a mac nozzle looks like it looks like this this is supposed to increase the airflow with your uh with your airbrush and give you that maximized atomization with the paint so we're going to go ahead and place it back in the nozzle gently put it back on the airbrush we're gonna go ahead and give this puppy a try, right? So um, one of the biggest things that I'm noticing is that they were saying that this is gonna be like an ultra mirror finish tank. Now, look at this. I want you to take a good look at that. You can almost see the perfect reflection. And I, I, think, that's in, I think that's insane, but we will test it out. So for those of you that are not familiar, um, this mirror fit, this mirror pol this polish right here is supposed to make sure that it helps with the with the paint flow so it flows faster into the gravity fed you know nozzle there um it's supposed to make sure that ease make it easier to clean so you don't have residue and all that stuff so we will be testing that out as well uh construction wise it looks very aesthetically pre pleasing to me at least uh, i know that most of you don't care about that but i do uh, I, I i really do um I want to make sure that my airbrushes look good, you know, so that way, you know, it looks when you're painting it, it to me, it just it's just an extra to me. Right. I want to make sure if they look good, then that's just a plus to me. Um, but we will be testing this out now. Uh, one of the things that they also mentioned in there is that they're going for that ergonomic feel, ergonomic comfortability. Man, look, and I can tell you right now that this lever, the way that this lever is designed is super comfortable. So hand placement hand placement you can go ahead and get your lever on there your hand on the lever there and then it's just so smooth yeah it's just so smooth to me can't wait to try it out so we will go ahead and try this out right now and then we'll go ahead and do like a full overview of the airbrush while we go ahead and do the tear down so stay tuned for that
welcome back everyone so uh as you can see from the previous video the it worked flawlessly when i was spraying on the plastics um i did do a test spoon for it however i went ahead and since i saw that it was spraying so good i went ahead and painted some parts for my current build for the zaku uh build series so uh just for the example of the spray itself so this was the finished product when i sprayed it Now, some people might say, well, that's just technique as well. But yeah, but it, you know, the, the, the airbrush that you use has a lot, you know, has to do, you know, the tools that you use also take part in, you know, um, the quality of the work that you do. So, so as you can see here, uh, so it did work flawlessly. One thing that I do have to say is that this mirrored finish tank was great. Um, when I was cleaning it, all I did was like pour a little bit of alcohol and um and pour it out you know and then just keep going without any issues and i wiped everything down pretty well to the point where i don't really think that we have to go through uh we have to go through like you know a really really deep clean for this uh but i am going to still take it apart uh most like mostly so you guys can take a look at all the parts and everything that's in there right so uh so let's go ahead and get started Just taking a look at the nozzle for those of you that are uh that are not familiar with this so these are mac type nozzles so um the good thing about this is that this seems fairly familiar to another one i have um so it's, it's looking like the replacements are probably going to be easy um it is fairly clean already because i did clean it i did try to clean it out a little bit uh while I, after i was spraying so uh so that's always great go ahead and set that to the side so you see the cap here as well for the for the nozzle which is great now i want to talk about the design right so um this spiral or fluted design it does have it, it is fully functional like and you can use it to tighten the knobs uh that are in that area uh as well as adjusted you know it, it also works with your grip whenever you are holding the airbrush through it uh so i feel that that's pretty convenient and it looks great now uh, i know that i keep saying like hey you know the functionality is what's important i got it you know it's fine but it, this is very appeasing uh, please you know it's a very aesthetically uh pleasing here so uh definitely like that uh now for those of you that are wondering how the air system works for the for the uh i over tightened this so it's a little tight there because i put some uh plumber's tape in there so it'll be a little harder so this is the actual you know how, how you guys normally whenever you guys are using an airbrush like i had the other airbrush around here somewhere i don't know where it is right now but um whenever you put the lever there the lever has an extra piece right the levers usually have an extra piece uh, and then that piece would in insert into the little uh, valve here and then press down to get air. Instead of that, you already have your lever that's already, that places right on top of this one. And it just presses down for better control. Oh, there goes the O-ring. I got to make sure that one's, that O-ring's pressed all the way through. Um, so yeah, so I think that's, that's pretty great. I really like that. Uh, I really like that from this part right here. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is that all, all the parts came lubricated on this one. I just noticed that on the needle as well. Uh, let's see if I can get that up. So uh, the needle itself is fairly lubricated as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it just because. Um, give it a little wipe down uh, for that. Now, some people ask me, you know, what do I use to clean my tools? So there's there's many different things that you can clean, you, you can use to clean your tools, right? So uh, biggest thing is that you need to make sure that you use it, the appropriate, you know, cloths or maybe the appropriate things. Like, for example, uh, I like to use uh, I like to use swabs to clean the insides of the chamber. However, I still make sure that I don't leave any dust or any residue or fuzz behind. Right. So uh, which is very important. The. Uh, and some someone asked me the other day, well, why can't you just wipe it down? Well, the problem is that if you just wipe it down and then you don't, don't check for fuzz or anything, you might clog your nozzle uh, or spray the fuzz into your um, parts, I guess. So uh, just make sure you always do proper cleaning of your items there. So 
Um, normally to clean, I, I use lacquer. Uh, I use lacquer paint, so usually either 91% alcohol or if you have lacquer thinner or even the Tamiya tool cleaner works well. Any any tool cleaner works as long as you're thorough with it, right? So um, I use, obviously I use some, I use uh, shop towels. You see, you've seen me use shop towels before. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of alcohol in on this. Now, because the the needle itself is lubricated, you just want to get that pe those parts that are right in the front that actually grab all the paint. As you can see there, I just grabbed the paint that was on the needle itself. All right. So now that that's finished, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the side. I was inspecting this a little bit over there inside inside the chamber. Look, it's it's already clean you know i did wipe it down very well so i didn't have to use it i usually i would take this out as well because there's a spring in here um however uh for some reason this is super tight and i can't take it off so uh definitely don't want to mess with that now i don't want to break it uh, but you can get all the way in there and actually take it apart completely take all the parts off completely uh and then go from there right that, that's if you need to change like o-rings or anything inside now, looking at all the chambers and everything, everything looks great. All right, so let's go ahead and put this back together. So there you have it. So uh, final thoughts on this airbrush. So the performance on the Mobius Point 3. Now I really would have wished that this one would have also included the knob to pre you know regulate the pressure of the APSI uh, on the airbrush. However, overall, I'm really liking this airbrush. Um, I will be using it uh, in future uh, projects as well, just to keep you know just keep checking the performance over and over, just to make sure everything is good. However, overall. It worked perfectly while I was while I was using it. Now everything is smooth. The lever is super smooth. I don't have any issues. I didn't have any clogging issues while I was using it. The pr air pressure, that enhanced air pressure that they're using to add, that they're they're promoting on this to atomize the paint. It's really worth. Like it really works. Like it's I, you can feel the difference when you're spraying with this, aside from spraying from something else, right? So. Really love that. Really like the fact that they put a Mac nozzle on it. Uh, and, you know, overall, uh, it is a good airbrush. Now, Gallery is definitely stepping up their game when it comes to airbrushes right now. Uh, I know that we had the Swallowtails. Like, for example, I have the Barbatos Rex Swallowtail right here. Um, and the 98D, which was a great airbrush as well. Uh, but this Mobius series is a great, it's looking like it's going to be great. Now, um, I'm more of a detail, small details person. So, for example, if I would have had the point two on the channel, I would have made sure I compared the two to make sure that uh, that they both they were both great. Uh, but I think someone else might, you know, I, I I've seen some other people that have been posting, you know, that they have received this product to to review as the point two. Uh, however, as of right now, I can tell you right now that this is definitely one of my favorite airbrushes from their gallery line. Uh, and I will definitely keep using this one. So uh, I know that I have nerve damage. So trigger airbrushes is definitely going to be my go-to um, on most of the time. However, I will definitely add this to my uh, to my lineup of airbrushes that I will be using to paint, right? So uh, thank you so much for watching. And if, again, if you guys want to uh, want to help the channel, just make sure you like and subscribe. Maybe share my videos uh, for other people to use so we can go ahead and keep growing the channel. Uh, and we, if you are interested in these airbrushes or any type of gallery products, I do have some links below that will also help the channel. So thank you so much for, for watching and keep a lookout for the next video. And we'll see you guys next time.